I know y'all see the name, this tells from the crib. I need y'all to subscribe, get them likes up, get them comments up, hit that share button, press that notification bell. You already know this is, you already know this is. This is Flash Boy in the game, your boy Jesse J, aka Feely Supreme, 305, Fat Cat Supreme. And it's the other star of the show, Papa Oblock, aka Chico Grande. And we're bringing it to you weekly. We don't know if you're new or if you've been here before, but we break it down the news and we give it to you raw. Exactly. No Vaseline. Exactly. He's Shaq. I'm Kobe. He's Tim Duncan. Uh, I'm more athletic than you. <laughs> so I'd be Kobe. Let's get the facts straight. <laughs> That's Cap. You are not let's more athletic get, than let's me. Let's get the facts straight. You're more like the big show. I'm more like you. Randy Orton. RKO. He's no. Know who I'm like, who? John Cena. Now you see me, now you don't. But you know what they do see? They, they see episode 56. Let's get it, baby. You already know what it is, man. It's Tales from the Crib, episode number 56. 56. How do you say it? Cinco CS? How you say that in Spanish? We're, we're not going to let you butcher <laughs> You just need to calm yourself down. And, I was trying to show me and my, just leave it alone. I'm trying to show my multicultural, you know. You know, I'm, I'm showing my, my Cuban side, my Sammy Sosa side. You know, he's my godfather. The only thing you're multicultural with is your ladies. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Listen, yeah, I know. He talk. got caught up like, uh, who's uh, who is your leader? Leonardo DiCaprio. You no, know, the guy that got caught with the snow bunny. Tristan Thompson? No, the dude, the main dude, the Dr. Umar. Oh yeah, Doctor Umar got caught with a snow bunny. <laughs> Listen, yeah. Listen, yeah. it's like sounds like my co-host at Ingram Mall. That's a that's all cap. Listen, yeah. me and Doctor Umar are like this. We know the message. We keep it hope alive. We love our queens. <laughs> but welcome to episode fifty six. Have you missed us? They better had. You know what else they should have did already? They should already like, comment, subscribe. Like I told you before, like, comment, and subscribe because sometimes when YouTube hates us. Our videos don't get pushed out, just like last week's videos, because our comments about Kevin Spacey and his unforgivable things we got already, that video shadow banned. We still feel the same way. Tell but, us in the crib. Has we'll, we'll stand on our ground. But thank Kevin you Spacey. for our subscribers. We have a oh, 108 subscribers right now. So thank you for everyone who subscribed, and we already have over 100 views. That means all of our subscribers watched the video because it did not get pushed out to anyone else. Because of the content was explicit. Hate. That sounds like some hate. Sounds like my co-host getting explicit all the time. This is uh, don't talk about my sex life in on this first episode. I wasn't. <laughs> it's crazy. That that's what you jumped into. <laughs> I, I you was just, just kidding. Oh, listen here. <laughs> this self snitching is at all time high. Thirty seconds into the video already, you were already ex exposing me. I thought we was co-hosts. I thought we was friends. I was. I was thought you could check my tone was a joke, but you clearly exposed yourself by accident. Not but you know where else you, you expose yourself is on Twitter at Felix Supreme three hundred five. Every day I make he's myself like, look like he's a jackass. Like, He's like one of those girls that have the only friends that post their explicit little sneak previews. That's how he has like his 5,000 followers. But if you want to talk just some funny stuff, some crazy stuff here and there, follow me at Papa Oblock on Twitter. Exactly. Man, help, my, help my dog get his followers up, you know, get him to I, a million. I need to catch up. I'm <laughs> so lazy on that. But what everyone else needs to catch up on Ooh. is finally jump to TFTC Music Mix number three. Because that's where the new videos are at. Stop watching number two. Numbers two's got over 1,200 views. We need you to jump over to Music Mix number three and get the numbers up on this playlist. Come on, man. Get them views up. Also, man, I need you to go over to IG, Instagram, and type in Tales from the Crib 210. That's where we get all the latest news from. That's where you catch all the latest episodes from. That's where you see the juice. That's where you see me get make Gavin look at the no, it never happens. Lots. But you should, I actually do have a lot of clips of <laughs> oh me making God. fun of my co-host. So check it out on Instagram. But speaking of making fun of my co-host, you know what it's time for? Couch time? It's time to... Put you on a couch. It's time to throw you on the couch. <laughs> Whoosh, and watch you fly. Whoosh, what is this? That was me throwing you on the couch. How does it feel to be manhandled? Pause. First off, I'm bigger than you. You can't be I'm taller. Me. You're not taller than me. Well, I was just like, man, did my co-host already... You know when they say you get older, you shrink? I was like, it must have already hit him. He must have shrunk a little bit. Because we were about the same height, but I think I'm about like a, an inch taller now. 
We see you, Gavin. I eat my Wheaties and I drink my milk every day. You know where you're taller you, than me. I heard you eat more than Wheaties. Pause. <laughs> this is not the slander Jesse episode. I'm going to need you to uh, calm no, down. I'm, I'm not trying to, but just stop leaving yourself open. Pause. Oh. <laughs> But what's coming up? You got any couch announcements? On couch announcements, we got some upcoming guests coming out. Also, oh, real quick, slander David F and G. Shout out to you! It's your birthday tomorrow, so shout out to your birthday. But also, f you, David G, exactly. because you were supposed to have a pre-birthday episode on Tales from the Crib special. You were our first thousand view video, and we we're supposed to celebrate you the day before your birthday. See? But you had a party too much. Exactly. If you was here right now, I'd punch you in the gonads. See this fist right here? In this hand, this is your gonads. Exactly. Bad, David. Bad. That, that, that sounded so wrong. <laughs> I should have turned off your mic. I don't know what that was. But what I do know is that you need to jump to our other channels, TFTC Gaming and Crib Reactions, because Crib Reactions is blowing up. Faster than your mama's favorite spaghetti meal. <laughs> I guess. And the TFTC gaming, we're also <laughs> posting on there. My co-host is doing a good job of playing 2K. I'm sorry I've been lazy on playing uh, Skater XL and Lego Star Wars and my own 2K because I will make my own my player and start my journey. But I'll, hopefully I'll get some gaming uh, clips for you all coming soon. But Crib Reactions, where it's at. This video, we have a, a video that came out on Sunday and a video that came out uh, on Monday, which is when this comes out. So check out all of crib reactions videos uh people are loving the chief keith videos we were uh, reviewing some unreleased untitled tracks um what was a couple of artists that you picked that we have coming down the pipeline we got real boston richie we mm -hmm. got ice war Vezo. we got gavin's funniest fail videos and i got a couple of videos of gavin what no getting a nap drunk no i wouldn't allow that Behind video to scenes, pass bts because i'm the I'm the editor, so I would edit that right in the, into the delete folder. I'm about to ask, just get you out like SpongeBob did in that episode. Where's my pencil? I don't, I don't consent. <laughs> you know what else? But you know, we do tell some career does consent to this message. She gets what she deserves. Looks like Amber Heard found guilty. Let's start the show. I'm sorry. <laughs> go ahead. It looks like Amber Heard found guilty of defaming my dog, Johnny D D D D Depp. Johnny getting real dip on this one. Exactly. I mean, how you do this to Johnny Depp? He was a nice guy. He made Pirates of the Caribbean. He made Edward Scissors hands. Scissors hands. Exactly. Who? How can you be mad at a man that had hands for scissors? It makes no sense. He was already tortured enough. He's great. He's done so many movies. He did Alice in Wonderland, and uh, was it uh, all kinds of movies? He made Willy the Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory movie, bussin. What else he did? He did a couple other movies. Amazing. Is he on your top five list or top ten list or not that high? Let's just say if Leonardo DiCaprio wasn't number one, Johnny Depp might oh be a Ryan O'Connor. When Leonardo DiCaprio got um, man, man of the year man for men's, the, yeah, for men's man in the world, guess who voted for guess, him five guess, times? Guess who got the full spread? My co-host. I got it hanging up on my ceiling wall every time I wake up in the morning. I you said, to him you like said Jesus. it motivates you in the gym. Exactly. Jesus sat on Jesus sandals. But speaking of motivation, Johnny Depp motivates me to keep my drinking going. So we <laughs> want to shout out our official sponsor, non sponsor, Twisted Tea, as we pop our tops. Hear that snap, crackle, and pop. I thought I was broken air. Pansy. Listen here. You don't try me. But, but speaking of pansies, let's jump into this case that was the case of the decade, century. Looks like Amber Heard speaks out after Johnny Depp wins defamation case. <laughs> defamation. <laughs> what I said. <laughs> well, I said defamation. Okay. <laughs> you go. You go. <laughs> Is awarded fifteen million in damages. I'm disappointed with. Uh, what this verdict means for other women lies lies where was it what was the women's trust when you was taking the number two on the bed who takes the number two on the oh bed? and she was uh sneaking uh the poor guy no nah, she had like a visitor over like a couple times who is uh seth rogan's best friend 
Seth Rogen. Pineapple Express. Oh, the um, the other James one. James Franco. She was sneaking in James Franco in the back door. Whenever Johnny Depp wasn't around, he was in the elevator. That's mad stuff. See, you can't even trust him. See, like the elevator man called him. And then the funny, the crazy part is, like, none of them got what they really wanted. Because I heard that she really wanted a hundred million, and he wanted what fifty or thirty million. But yeah, you let... can only win so much, though. So. Yeah, so you know it capped out, but you know this is what she gets. I mean, this is what bad people get. Bad people gotta pay the piper. It says the disappointment I feel today is beyond words. I'm heartbroken that the mountain of evidence still was not enough to stand up to the disproportionate power, influence, and sway of my ex-husband. I'm even more disappointed with what this verdict means for other women. It is a setback. It is a setback. A clock to a time when a woman who spoke up and spoke out could be publicly shamed and humiliated. It sets back the idea that violence against women is to be taken seriously. I believe Johnny's attorney succeeded in getting the jury to overlook the key issue of freedom of speech and ignore evidence that was so conclusive that we won in the UK. I'm sad I lost this case, but I am sadder still that I seem to have lost it right. I thought I had as an American to speak freely and openly. You can, yeah. God dang, that's a mouthful. You have. <laughs> maybe if she had. Maybe if she, hers wasn't so full. She wouldn't be in this predicament. Mm. <laughs> but nah, honestly, like this is crazy. Like, how do you, how do you flip the script like this? First, you had this poor little innocent girl that was getting slandered and all this stuff by Johnny Depp. But she the truth comes real, out. Real slandered. I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> well, why did it look like you were giving mouth to mouth to Amber? You can't bring her yeah. back. Because when, when you said that, all I could think of was James Franco coming through the back door. Oh, he was. More than once. <laughs> all right. <laughs> this, is, and this is worse than Thanks, Thanks Killing with the turkey movie. Oh, she got the turkey. <laughs> <laughs> she got stuff <laughs> oh oh nice one but speaking of getting stuffed she is hating and she plans to appeal because she can't pay debt the 10.4 million i think johnny won around 15 but she won around like two, two. Or two or three or something but anyway when it all was said and done the actual amount that she owed was 10.4 million See? and she cannot pay that you better call up franco franco you better call up elon musk because elon musk was caught in the elevator too she was she was getting that, she was getting the dp she was getting that spacex and so why why would you bring that into the i'm just saying sometimes you, got a you, little, try, you got a sometimes you click over to page 15 on porn hub and this is what happens you can't talk about that sir Watch your mouth. Did you not see what happened the last episode? I'm just saying. This, this guy was the main reason that they said, no, no, no. YouTube's not pushing your video this this week. It was my lawyer. We had to, we need, had to rely on our hardcore fans. I need fans. Johnny Depp's lawyer for this because YouTube is just out of control. But like, Yeah, we, we need the Depp lawyers. And I, But like I was saying before, like this is what all the rich people do. As soon as they get sued, the first thing they do is, I want to file for bankruptcy. That's 50 Cent. It's all the rich people. He 50 Cent, this. Donald Trump, you, once you leave this podcast. What? I'm suing. It never happened. I'm suing you. Once you leave this, guess what? As soon as you leave, I'm, I'm suing you. And I'm for bankruptcy like 50 Cent. I got the 50 Cent playbook. And I'm going to steal your whole Star Wars collection. No, because yeah. it's in the safe, just with my shoe collection and my basketball jersey collection. And I almost wore my Gilbert Arenas jersey. My coach said, there's been too much shootings going on, so I can't wear it. And I was like, "What a hater!" Hey, you know, I'm the only time I'm hating. Just because you want to wear your little you 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 haka show shirt doesn't mean you're special. Listen, yeah, I am special. I hope I'm special enough to catch this damsel in distress now that she's single. And you were special enough to ride the short bus on the way to school. But speaking of short buses, we got Michael B. Jordan and Lori Harvey reportedly split after their one year contract. I'm in them DMs. You already know what tells from the cribs. You know the little tellies. I'm gonna call you out the tellies. You know, Telly. You, you think we could get Lori Harvey on the show? Oh, no. You think I can get Lori Harvey to be my wife? No. <laughs> Where's the hope? Where's. You I think I got a better shot. Yeah. She don't even know. She don't want no cream in her coffee. She, I heard she, she wants. She's I, like toast. I heard she wants all the cream. She don't even like cream. She wants the extra cream. 
We finished. The lactose. <laughs> she doesn't need that German King cream. Let's see here. Just oh. keep that German stuff over there in Germany. <laughs> I was going to say something, but I don't want to get banned. But um, Lori Harvey said, they said that she's the female future. That she fr she loves them and then she dumps them. I know, I mean, it's like so many different stories going on. One story is that they get the contracts up, like, they was only together for a year. I mean, look at they the promote faces a movie. Michael B. Jordan was making. That's why she left him. Who makes who puts their tongue out like that? Let's see here. Sometimes, sometimes people when they express themselves. Yeah, but you were saying something about a movie. Michael Jordan used to stick his tongue out. What's but the that's difference? That's when he was dunking on people, and he was saying, "Take that, take that." In front of me, he made him like it. But anyways, you said you think he did this for a movie or something? Yeah, I think he. They, some people say he did this to promote a movie that was coming out. Other people say that you know he wanted to take it up to another level. He probably wanted to propose to the lady, and she was like, no, no. Little grasshopper. We still, it's still hot grasshopper. Why she had to call him grasshopper? Because <laughs> he a baby. He a little, he a little on. cricket. He a little cricket. You know, he the type to get in that little, get in that little water and start bunny hopping. Like, you know, you slow down, you know, slow down in that water. You know, you got to take your time. Eat, you know. I remember one time I came to the studio and I was like, is that a baby, baby earthquake? I was like, wait, is this sounds like it's coming from one one room. I put my ear to the door. It was a bunny hop. I was getting to work like Pop said. My love going bang, bang, bang. <laughs> R.I.P. Pops. R.I.P. Pops, for real, And R.I.P. Michael B. Jordan having Lori Harvey. Because we're coming for her. You know, so, you know, which rapper you think is going to be in her DMs first? Is Mick Mills coming back? You know, he made a song about it. Meek Mill's last on her list. I Damn. think I'm higher on the list than Meek Mill. <laughs> Meek Mill ain't never finna win again. Yeah, she's like Tales from the Crib is higher on the list than Meek Mill. She might end up going with P. Diddy. You know, P. Diddy gets all the girls. And then he sends them back and forth between him and his son. <laughs> That's nasty. They be paid. What's his son's name again? King Combs? No, the other one. The last skin one. Probably the King Combs who, you know. I thought King Combs one was, wait, didn't King Combs date Lori Harvey? Probably. One Shinny family. And then so did P. Diddy. Yeah, they she's already been down that road. So she's traveled those roads a few times. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of traveling roads. I think speaking of traveling roads, I think me and this next person has some in common. I know I You're both D basically DTF. <laughs> No pause. That's so what me and Pete Davidson. He got that BD energy. People say I got that BD energy. Um, it's it's flowing through my body. I thought they said LDE. <laughs> oh God! What is it? Who? What doing, 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 doing. Who's who's who's? <laughs> is that? It's the LDE theme song. Let's hear. That's you. I heard. That's no. you. The LDD theme song. Mm -mm. Yes. No. Because girls say a lot of hurtful things when they're mad at you, but they've never said this to me. They never said I had LDE. First off, I already know what the girls say when they see you. As soon as they heard, they heard the girls, they, they say Chamona. Lies. They heard as soon as you pull your face down, they say how you doing. Lies. As soon as you pull your pants down, they holler at <laughs> Flack. There ain't no quacking going on. <laughs> I don't know what you. What does that even mean? <laughs> <laughs> you can save seven percent on car insurance. I don't know what you're talking about. They wish I can disappear. That didn't make any sense. But speaking of not making sense, Kim Kardashian is supposed to love her husband Kanye West, but she ended up hitting up Pete Davidson after they shared a kiss on a skit. She said that he had that BDE, and she got the number from the producer because she was basically DTF. Do you think this is true? You... That's just crazy. How would you feel if your wife was DTF basically a week after y'all break up? She says she wanted to try something new. She says she did want the cream in her coffee. Look, looks like there's a lot of cream in this background. Listen here. First off, when you when you marry a Jezebel, they do, and you break up with a Jezebel, she goes back to reverting to Jezebel things. Yep, that's a a lot of. Uh... A lot of your exes said they had Jezebel problems. Wait, hold on. What? Are you calling me a Jezebel? Hold on. Time out. We already, you, know that, you know that's your second name. My name's not Jezebel. My name is Jesse. 
Jesse, a.k.a. Jezebel. Listen, I'm about to Jezebel you to the floor if you keep playing. Hey, I'm not a part of that. I'm not... I'm not ZTF. I'm about to ring your bell. Keep playing. Again, <laughs> I do not consent. I do not subscribe. I do not give you permission to pass go. Listen here. Does it even matter about permission any days? People can just take what they want. Look at Lori Harvey and Kim K. Looks like Kim K strikes again. The copycat stealer Kim K steals another one. Looks like supposedly what's going on, which is crazy. I uh, really Everyone know. wants some skin. Everybody, supposedly what's going on is that Lori Harvey has a, a, a product of makeup product called Skin S K N S K N and Kim K came out with a product called Skin S K K N and it looks like the only thing difference is okay and the black girls are furious. Yeah, they said that Kim's original model was S K K K N, but they didn't test well because it had the three Ks, so they made her change it. He so looked, she was like, I could cut it down to two Ks because they said Lori, Lori Harvey already has one K. It's horrible. I mean, I don't know what's going on. No, and then, that's retired. a joke, people. I'm kidding. She didn't horrible. do that. And, and what's going on is that all the black women are going crazy. They're saying that Kim K is known for stealing stuff. She's always stealing people's ideas, selling product ideas and selling it for her own. Kim K is just, what is it? What is it called? What, did, what do what people I, call it? Pocahontas? Did it take away the land? She was a Navajo. <laughs> but basically, basically, he's just Navajo and across a couple his world. of Navajos going at it. <laughs> he's retarded. Out of out of out of these out of these two Navajos, which one do you rate higher? Higher, higher, and what is one that you would take to for your to be your your queen of your tribe? None of them. They're both Navajos. And my, I, I can't no, bring, but, on, what, can't what, bring what, Mama won't accept that. Well, let's say we do a lot of reaction videos, so let's react to these two women. What do you rate Kim Kardashian right now? One out of ten. Big a, slurp. A two. A two. A two. <laughs> I stick with my queens. Lori, <laughs> ask me the next question. Lori Harvey. A million times. A million times. A million. You better watch out, Michael B. More than once. You may have missed your shot, but I'm shooting my shot last Steph Curry and we getting a pregnant. Bow, 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 bow. Twins. I'm the new ASAP Rocky in this. Hey, if you have a chance to get a Rihanna pregnant, you get a Rihanna pregnant. <laughs> and this kind of, and this is the Texas message. This is a misogynistic message from Tales from the Crib. We're sorry, it's late and we've been drinking, so that comes with a disclaimer. Speaking but speaking of, of making good decisions, look at we that. got our boy LeBron James. We love to see it. LeBron James is officially a b -b 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 billionaire. He's the first active sports player to be a billionaire ever. Who cares about championships when you're a billionaire? Who cares if you've lost seven times in the finals? You got a billion dollars to exactly. wipe those tears. Exactly. I mean, only thing left for him to do is just wait for his son to come in the league, and then he can retire better than MJ. If I was Bronny, I wouldn't even try to get to the league. You got to get to the league. Daddy's waiting no, on you. No, I would just be like, Dad, I need a job at Nike. Make it happen. You have a lifetime deal. I'm pretty sure you could get me a job there. And then I'm going to be like a Nike executive the rest of my life and get all the Nikes for free. But I guess if he's good enough, you might as well try anyway. Exactly. I mean, he's going to get even more. He's going to get his own money. And on top of that, whatever, team's gonna, whatever team drives him, they're going to get LeBron gonna, James going to be right behind. They're going to get LeBron's final years. Exactly. I wonder who that team will be. Who do you think will get him? Because it's got to be a crappy team. So who do you think is going to be a crappy team in the next three years? The Sacramento Kings. Good pick. I was going to say OKC. Mm, they both could be trash. Could you imagine? Bronny Jr. and LeBron in OKC. We got to go to the games. It's on the way. How far is OKC from us? Like eight hours? Mm, I think it would be a long drive, but we could do it. Mm -mm -mm. But could you imagine Bronny, LeBron, and Dort? So does this make LeBron James better than Michael Jordan now? No. What? My, He's a billionaire. Michael Jordan's been a billionaire. Michael Jordan has been after, after basketball. That it wasn't during. He's the goat of all goats. Oh, Lord. He's. You make one hands commercial and you think you big top dog. You think you got BDE. 
He is the godfather of everything. Everyone still wears his shoes more than anyone else's. That's all I got to say on that. It's okay. It's all right. Once Bronny comes to the league, we're going we're gonna to re-talk this debate. And we got to put LeBron James on his rifle throne. It's number one. Go to Vol Goats. Next you, to Leonardo DiCaprio and Tom Brady. Speaking of Bronny James, you know what Adidas should do to spite uh, Nike? They should offer like Bronny like a $500 million deal to make sure they sign him. That'd be crazy. Like, you got LeBron. We got Bronny. LeBron James won't give his son another Christmas present for the rest of his life. Because, you know, Spider Mitchell shoes, uh, they ain't selling at Adidas. Ain't no one's getting the Spider Mitchell ones or ain't the twos or the threes. And nobody's buying the Steph Curry Under Armors. And no one's buying the Paul George Nikes. It's all right. Everyone's still wearing Kobe's or Jordan's or generic Nikes. But, um,. Hopefully we'll do more sports soon. Uh, we're going to get into the finals a little bit later in the show, but we're going to keep it rolling just like Batman Kevo kept it rolling until he got it all sucked out and then he no longer rolled no more. The biggest flex of 2022, Batman Kevo pulled the ultimate finesse. I'm thinking this man out here working out, getting these gains, giving us financial literacy. He said he lost like 80 pounds. In like three weeks. And he, he sucked it out. Cheating. It looks like he pulled a Drake and a Kanye West over here getting lipo. Like, how do you feel about man getting lipo? Is it is man getting lipo acceptable yet? Are they? Are they... I don't think it, it's acceptable. You should do it and not tell anyone. <laughs> it's horrible. And then I heard, you know, only reason I heard he came out with it is because he got sixteen ex- shot him. Sixteen shot him, exposed him because I guess they beefing. So he's like, since you over here talking this, I'm gonna show everybody that these abs is fake. Comment below, who do you think would win in a fight between Batman Kevo and 16 Shot Him? I'm personally, I got my money on Batman Kevo would knock him out. No, oh, no, I'm going to punch him in his fake ribs. I can't believe that. He's, he's got, they're actually uh, bulletproof ribs. Why can't people just work out? Like, it just makes no sense. He said, just... he, he said he did work out. He worked out like crazy, but he just couldn't lose the belly fat, so he got it sucked out. No, he couldn't put that tomahawk steak down. He kept spending all that money and drinking all he that could, alcohol. He couldn't stop drinking that lean, probably, and stop eating the $3 steaks. You know what I'm talking about. Hey, $3 steaks from the uh, Sugars is amazing. And it comes with your own private dancer. Well, not you. You know what I mean. I was like, uh, what? Nah, but I mean, honestly, okay, Gavin, truth of all truths, would you get a BBL? <laughs> Is that a real question? Yes. The fan, the, the telly's want to know. I'm going to punch you out your socks. How about that? That's my answer. No, I do not approve of this message. So aggressive. You're so aggressive. I need you to calm down. You know what? I need you, you know what's going to make you feel a lot better, Gavin? Our next topic. Your twin, your role model, your pappy. Oh, he ain't my pappy. He's your pappy. <laughs> the way you listen to him, he's your pappy. I love me some Jack Jack Harlow. Looks like Jack Harlow strikes again you, with another one. You're going to go face down in his meal. I, I tooted up for that chicken. That's the wrong type of tooting. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know, but look. Jack Harlow got a KFC meal. You were drinking the hottie sauce. You were sucking down the sweetie hoss. And now you can lick down the Jack Harlow chicken. I mean, I don't know what's better. You know, you get the Jack Harlow chicken with the Rick Ross chips and a Soldier Boy drink. <laughs> Jesus it's, Christ. It's Liddy. Let's, yeah. check, let's check it out. <laughs> Oh, the yeah, sandwich. we need that Jack Harlow meal. Get right, it. Alright, we need like three though. Give me oh, three. 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 God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Guess who's at the window? <laughs> oh, Nothing but the man, the myth, the legend himself. This is Gavin with curly hair. I had curly hair. I cut it off. I need y'all's money, man. Be careful with this shit. Come on, bro. Hey, Jack, man. Light ice. Light on the ice. Rookie mistake. We good. We good. We good. 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 They like messing with me. It take what you get. This take what you get. Oh, if you want to hear, see Jack Cardlow slander. Our video just got cleared uh, because they had it blocked for a while, but it's gonna be premiering tomorrow. At 3.30, the Jack Harlow, uh, what was the video called? 
uh, Jack Harlow with, with Drake with, with some Churchill some, Downs Churchill Downs Jack Harlow Drake we did the a Kentucky reaction Derby. To, uh, to it and uh, we definitely gonna slander him up because uh, PETA hated on the video they said that you can't support horse racing horse racing is not PETA it's, approved it's, but he said I don't give a F about but, you PETA like PETA like it doesn't make any sense Peter tries to take away everything. They try to take away the zoo. They try to take away fur coats. They're trying to take away fair, ferret hunting. Why can't we hunt our ferrets? Sometimes no, Gavin was. No, no, sometimes leave, Gavin leave, wants to shoot leave. a rabbit. No, no, shoot a rabbit. I don't shoot rabbits. <laughs> but I, He's uh, a rabbit shooter. I also don't understand why you would throw ferrets in there. I like ferrets. Those are like <laughs> regular pets. That's like saying cat or dog. You are sick sob. Someone needs to get on him. And Look, did you just spray cologne? Or was that the air freshener? How can I spray cologne right next to you? The air freshener's right there. <laughs> That's what it is. Speaking of, no, I'm not going to, I'll let that go. Let's see what else is going on in the world. Oh my God. Not, I mean, not really the world. It looks like in the metaverse, people are deciding in two, the year 2070, they're going to have virtual babies. <laughs> this is like a Tamagotchi. It makes no sense. Like, like I understand some people just like either you can't have a kid, you can't have a kid, you buy a dog, you you, you, you can can't, adopt, you can adopt, you can buy a you can buy a loaf of bread and pretend that's your baby, and carry it around. People do it, put it in your purse. Are you like one of those weird people that like marries a bridge or something? What are you talking about? No, you never seen them. You never seen them uh, at school. Where they uh, at what it's like sex ed classes where they give you a baby. Sometimes your school can't when your school can't afford a baby because you know we impoverished. They give you a loaf of bread. Where they give you an egg. Uh, I actually, um, it was like home ec or something, mm -hmm. or like home studies. But uh, yeah, I got a computer baby. You got a computer baby? Yeah, it was like a doll that you would have to like fake feed and fake change the diaper. And it had all these different sensors, and it would go off at random times in the middle of the night. And you basically had to take care of it for 48 hours. And then uh, you would get a rating, and that was like a big grade of your grade in the class. Did you give it to your mom to do it? No, I took care of it. Yeah, but you can take care of kids. You like it? No. I, you said no, you like it. I was playing Xbox and rocking it with my foot. I know how to, I know how to get down. I know how it's done. <laughs> dare parent, gotta, dare gotta, parenting one on one. You gotta work smart, not hard. Work smarter, not harder. Yeah. But I mean, like, do you feel like you're gonna be one of these people in 2070 to get a virtual baby? I think I would have a virtual baby to like play it like a video game, but like play it like Grand Theft Auto. Like, can I make this virtual baby evil? Hey, so and then unleash him on the metaverse like a demon baby in the metaverse. If I get if I get three virtual babies and I no longer want to play the game anymore, would I put on would I be put on virtual child support? <laughs> They're gonna come after you. It's gonna be like Tron. They're gonna I'm, come out of the game. It's gonna be like me when I play Clash of Clan. You know, I play it for like a couple of days. I'm like, man, I'm done with this game. I ain't played it like in three months. You know, you see that random ad that you get on YouTube videos. It's like play Clash of Clans. It's a little death of the game. <laughs> Speaking of death of the, it's like this guy's favorite game. He's always like my castle, no, nah. no, nah, not my castle, no. Nah. <laughs> it's like hilarious. It. But you know what's not hilarious? These little twelve-year-old boys is out here being reckless. Looks like surveillance video shows twelve-year-old laying off a gun in the convenience store. He's popping. <laughs> Let, let's see what happens. Somebody, watch out, girl. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I'll show you. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, but that's it. Quick. Yeah, Ain't playing no yeah, games. Right. Don't play yeah, with me, old lady. So supposedly, I think this happened like in Indianapolis or something. A twelve, the twelve-year-old kid walks in the store, shoots a gun in the air, and then walks away. Like, first off, I want to say, where's your mask at, kid? Like. Mask robbing one on one. You need your black forces. You need your you need your mask. How you rob a store in broad daylight with no black forces of mask? It's like that one song, "Mask Off in Broad Daylight." <laughs> what? <laughs> or that other song, "I Don't Need a Mask." Oh my god. This is. <laughs> but uh, this it's is like that. Uh, what's like that King and the Pill? That King and the Pill episode when uh he was 
he was uh getting interrogated by the cops and he was like i didn't do it he's like you didn't do it but how come i have this song right here saying that you did it <laughs> he's like he's like i didn't shoot them people yeah i shot them people it was amazing hilarious Shout out King and Peel taking over Dave Chappelle's spot. But you know, back to this story. Oh, you said Key and Peel? Yeah, what you thought I, I thought you said King of the Hill. And I'm like, I don't remember <laughs> this episode at all. I, said, I thought well, it was like the little blonde boy. What was his name? John like? Redcorn? Yeah, little Redcorn. And Bobby? Bobby. Yeah, Bobby. <laughs> you dumb. I was like, when the hell, when the, when did Bobby do this on King but of the Hill? But now that it makes sense now? Yes. You that? You're, yeah. you're retarded. Now it makes sense. <laughs> So I'm saying that's why I was like, "What are you talking about?" And I was like, "This I missed that episode." Mm-mm-mm. But you but, know what? The cops, the cops didn't miss him. No, supposedly the little kids locked up in juvie, in timeout. No applesauce for you today, little boy. No. And you know they're gonna treat him like they Rico uh, Rick, Rico Reckless said they get treated in prison. Patui. That's nasty. Where are the parents? This doesn't make any sense. And supposedly the way he got and he supposedly the way he got the gun was by prying open the safe where the gun was so the parents are trying to be safe but this kid is bad but he pried it open i wonder how like what he's a he's like um a, what, was it like a crowbar or something i don't know what where he found the code he just went through their stuff till he found the code these kids are these but kids, watch are your kids nowadays. hide your firearms hide your kids hide your wife that's my line but speaking of lines, something that was out of line was Top Gun Maverick because it, it broke the Memorial Day record, a uh, weekend box off record, was making $156 million in one weekend. And I actually saw this movie, so I'll give my quick review. It was amazing. It's got a lot of one out of 10. I gave it a nine. Wait, wasn't it? Okay, so what was the point of the So was he like a teacher or something like that? He was a teacher in the second one. In this one, yeah, and that's what he is in this one. In the first one, he was a student, mm-hmm. but now he is the teacher. And now well, he just teaches kids to be a firefighter. I mean, a, a, yeah, a, a firefighter. Pilot. Not a fire, you know what I mean? A yeah. pilot. Yeah, they, he, he taught them how to use the hoses. <laughs> it's Magic Mike. <laughs> it was they Shannon did Tatum. have a Magic Mike moment. If you want to see Tom Cruise with his shirt off, they did have a beach scene for you. Oh, it is Tom Cruise now, like 60s, in his 60s? But he looks like he's like 35. Doesn't he do his own stunts? Oh. Yeah. The the Jet uh, videos was like, it was amazing. They had some really good shots. Is there any fighting in the video? Or is it just like trying to teach kids? To... No, there's fighting. They get in some dog fights. And some, and some real dog fights. Like they're fighting actual dogs? <laughs> no. Oh, <laughs> that's what they call when two planes are fighting in the air. They call it a dog fight. Oh, I mean, it's... you need to calm down, Michael. I'm, Vic. To, I'm, I'm a civilian. I'm not. A, I'm in a military. You need to calm down, little Vic. <laughs> um, but Top Gun, I suggest you go see it. If you love the first one, you'll love the second one. They didn't overdo it with the fan service. It's a great find, and Tom Cruise personally thanks you for coming to see the movie at the beginning. Oh my god! You so will my never co- get I'm gonna make up. my co-host see it. So you, thank you, you want Tom Cruise to thank you twice? Is that it? You want two thank yous, Gavin? You're being greedy. Thank me once, thank me twice. That's it. <laughs> I you had some <laughs> no. some uh, some amazing thing to say after that. <laughs> no, no, I was just messing with you. You just a reread. But speaking of messing with you, we got a sheep that was found guilty and sentenced to three years in jail for killing a woman. In Africa. Crazy. Tales from the Crib exclusive story. Look, so it looks like in Africa, I forgot in Sudan or somewhere in Africa, this a crazy sheep attacked an old lady, headbutted her three times. Bam, bam, bam. That's super head right there. Forget Karen Stephan. <laughs> Why do you have to call it super head? <laughs> he headbutted her three times. Your mind is in the gutter. It I'm just, just stays in the gutter. I'm just saying. So the the sheep headbutted her three times, killed the lady. So, so instead of charging the person that owns the sheep, because the man's like, it's not my fault. There's nothing I could have done. What they did was they paid their condolences. 
in paid the for the funeral? No. They went to the people they went to the people of the uh the grandmother and said, Here's five cows. Oh yeah, and I'm the sorry. firstborn child. It wasn't the firstborn child. <laughs> it was just five cows. <laughs> No child. That would have been involved. more interesting. But I can't believe, like, what is, um, what is sheep jail like? Does it go in the jail with the regular people? Could you imagine if you dropped the soap and there's a sheep behind you? Is it headbutt you? Headbutt you down. Mm. That's and crazy. And it's gonna mount you. I wonder, do you think it shaped the horns? Are those weapons? Oh, well. <laughs> it's gonna get its horns shaved. Oh lord, that's messed up. Oh wait, wait. Oh. I wonder if he wants the top bunk. I wonder if he wants the top bunk or bottom bunk. I'm not trying to be jerk, Jack Harlow. I don't want <laughs> Peter to come after me. We're moving on, people. This topic is too ridiculous. Speaking of ridiculous, looks like here, this museum is going crazy. Looks like, once again, these people mess up. What the F? Like, I can't do nothing right. Just get it right. What's the story? Tell us. Looks like this Children's mu- the Museum in Indianapolis issues an apology following backlash on Juneteenth's Watermelon Salad. Toss the salad. What do they make you in count- do in county? Toss the salad. And you know, this would have been a good idea. They didn't want to put Juneteenth Watermelon Salad. They should, just could have put Watermelon Salad and just left it like that. And then could have had like drone team stuff all the way all around like the cafeteria. Like or just the ca- cafeteria decorated. Exactly. Like out of all the days in the world, you know, we a healthy job place on Juneteenth. You want to sell macaroni and watermelon and fried chicken. Just screams racist. They should have sued him. Mm-mm-mm. All the workers there should have got an extra days off. Mm-hmm. No, first off, you should have tried the salad because if, if the, water's, well, the watermelons they... wasn't fresh and they had seeds in it. They need to get fired because we already know that we don't like watermelons with seeds in it. They should have made him give away the salads for free as punishment. You know, free no, no. salads, free salad tossing. You know, no, the, the paid devil's ad- advocate, what if the job was like, we got so many watermelons here, what should we do? And somebody's like, we should make a salad. And somebody's like, that's a genius idea. But it goes wrong. And now they're on the making the news. <laughs> they made our news. That's how wrong of a decision they made that they made our news. This is horrible. Like, I mean... I need y'all to do better as a, as a, as a whole as America. I need y'all I'm to do better. I'm not a salad eater, so meh. I'm a kind of sewer of the salad. I toss the salad, literally and figuratively. Hey yo, with ranch and Caesar sauce. That sounds like a stomach virus. <laughs> sounds like the pink eye. I'm gonna get the pink tongue. <laughs> Your tongue is supposed to be pink. The wrong kind of pink. That's nasty. But, that's, but uh, speaking of tragedies beyond salads, man, I'm finna, we got we we're gonna actually stop being jokey joke because we got to be serious for just a second. So we got to pay our respects to our dog, my dog Trouble Trouble from ATL Atlanta. Looks like Trouble Trouble died at the age of 33 by a gunshot. It's sad. Yeah, and the uh, investigators said no arrests have been made, but they have obtained arrest warrants for a 33-year-old, uh, Jamichael Jones, charging him for the murder of Atlanta rapper known as Trouble. I listened to Trouble way back when, not as much lately, but definitely when I was in college coming up. I did check out Trouble all the time. He always had good new music. And it looks like, you know, it was over a girl, and it was a dispute in an apartment. Where he was unfortunately shot in the chest one time and uh, did not make it from the one shot. So, terrible news. Our hearts go out to Trouble's family. And, uh, you know, hopefully uh, they get justice. But even justice won't bring uh, Trouble back. I mean, dang, I'm so sad. Like, I really like this artist. Like, I listen to a lot of his music. I woke up, like it's, like, it's crazy how every day you wake up, another person is either in jail or they passed away. It's like sad. Like one day, I just want to wake up. I just want to have one month where everybody just lives. Can we just have one month? Oh, um, that's not how life works. But, sad. but it's still sad regardless. Especially what I mean by that is we know how life works. Everyone knows, but all the people losing their life before their time is what the real tragedies are. Um, so you know, it, it's tough. Uh, hopefully, it looks like you know Trouble's music did you know very well. 
Mm-hmm. So hopefully his family will uh, it was survive sad. off his uh, music legacy and he just, there. And he just had a kid. He was so proud of it. He finally had a kid in his late 30s, I mean, his early 30s. And I like, Adam, who's going to raise that kid now? Yeah, 33-year-old. He was just a he's couple. Like 30, of, I think he's, he's like 34. He died. It says 33 right here. Oh, no. Oh, the dude, they're, was they're, the dude is 33. The other dude was like 34. Uh, yeah. No, no order than like 35. Yeah, and, he's like your age. And but, I'm 33. Um, you mother suck. I'm about to no, cry. no, the guy was 33. I was saying you were 35. <laughs> hey, don't spit on the mic there. <laughs> spit is a quitters. But speaking of quitters, looks like our next topic is a doozy. Looks oh like my God. this is about the worst thing I've heard all week. <laughs> you know, this is like the unforgivable of unforgivables. You think you're sending your kids, you know, to get a scholarship. Oh, my son gets to play football. He's going to tear it up. But he tore up more than one field. Mm-hmm. On and off the court. Looks like a and couple- it looks like he was really building some camaraderie. <laughs> looks like football players at family were caught running a choo choo at 6 a.m. this morning with the janitor before their workout this morning. I found out because I'm an RA and I had to cancel this, this summer housing. Man, you mean so? What does that song go? You gotta ride it. Choo choo. <laughs> it was a Space the Jam song. Yeah. And ride it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Why do I know that song? <laughs> Sound like you you've been in this situation once or twice. Like I don't understand. Like first off, why is the janitor? Wait, why is they? Why are they there at six in the morning? Female janitors got to clean. Horrible. For a second, I, when I read this, I didn't even see the female part. I was like, that poor janitor. <laughs> why? Why did they do that? That's the wrong type of hazing. That's the wrong type of team building. It's they're still not build, as good. They were trying to build camaraderie, all right. Yeah, but this said it was a female janitor, so hopefully, at the minimum, it was at least consensual. Because if not, that's not forgivable. So wait, wait. So why did you cancel? So they got kicked out of school. But it's natural. You're in college. If you, it's natural to run trains on janitors. She's of age. She wanted it. It was consent. Well, before you go spending misinformation. We're going to check out this story. Maybe we'll have an update for you next week. Trust, if it was consensual. Trust me, if it wasn't consent, this would have been a whole different story. A lot story. bigger story. This would have been yeah. a lot bigger story. This is sad. It'd be like, she, and she, she lost her Did, job. They, they lost her house. I want to know, what is your money on? Did they seduce her or did she seduce them? I mean, you know, they football players. You know, I'm pretty sure he was walking around with no shirt on and she was like, ooh la la. And it was like, come hop on this bunny rabbit. And she got to hop in. So you might automatically assume that she's a bunny rabbit? That ponytail was little. You're going to get kicked out of school <laughs> just like these guys. You don't even go to that school and you're still going to get kicked out. They're still going to ban you. I'm a, I'm a, They're gonna I'm a register s- for the school to be like, uh-uh. uh-uh. It's going to be like the Spider-Man oh, episode. Oh, we heard about you. It's like the, it was that Spider-Man movie with... Uh, he tried to get into that school, MIT, and she's yeah. like, "They're mm-hmm. like, no, you Spider Man." We heard mm-hmm. what she said about the janitor. <laughs> I need to read my tweets. But <laughs> speaking of uh, action, we're gonna go ahead and talk about NBA Finals Game Two. I think you had a score. I do. It's the next slide. But we want to talk about this for a second. The NBA Finals Game Two, Boston came out with effort. And uh, Jalen Brown and Al Horford hit their career highs in threes and played defense to help Boston with the comeback win in game one. Game two was a lot of back and forth, but in the end. Looks like the Warriors came out with the W, and of course, we knew this was going to happen. Ain't no way Adam Silver is going to let the Warriors walk out of home. Being with, down We are 0-2. down 0-2. There's no way. I mean... You know, sometimes I feel like the NBA is rigged because it's like you can actually call it, and it's, it's always right. Like I'm pretty sure the next game, boss is gonna win, and then the next it's gonna, the next game's gonna be a super blowout. But um, what is your pick so far after Boston. after two games in, in what you've seen on the court? 
what is your pick for the final outcome? You said Boston in how many games? Six or seven? I need I need Boston to win the title so they can finally blow up this team because I'm pretty sure they've been waiting to blow up this team for the longest, and they was waiting. They say this is gonna be like our final year. We blowing up, the, blowing up this team. We know it's like our seven times telling y'all we're gonna blow up this team because for some strange reason, every team switches up players, but the Boston Celtics somehow keep the same players. Except for Kyrie. Except for, except for Kyrie. He's on Kyrie. like they switched out him and Kimball Walker. But they've always had the same people, the same and Gordon, starters. Gordon Hayward didn't work there either. That's three people. Everybody else has been there. Yeah. Like Hor- Smart. Hor- Horford was even there, left, and came back. <laughs> That's pretty funny. And Marcus Smart. I think Marcus Smart. It was, he's, he's been there the whole time. He never left? No. It's crazy. He's trash. But Curry had a good game. Jordan Poole hit a crazy shot at the end of the third quarter. He hit a three. They got oh, Jordan stop. Poole was acting crazy. Like, and then he hit like a half court pull up right in um the little goofy white point guard's face from the Celtics. Like I feel like I honestly feel like if I play basketball against Jordan Poole, I probably have to slap him. Because the way he shoots. Like he doesn't even shoot the ball. He just he's 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 he, like uh Curry with, with longer arms. No, he's so like, he has a little better handles. He's like he shoots like Sean Marion. But like he instead of like shoot doing from the chest, like he he just like shoots it like I don't know. And like he just throws it up and it just swish, swish, swish. It doesn't make any sense. But I knew it was over. Once he made that half court shot, I was like, yeah. This, I just, wrap. this has been my worst nightmare. I realize I hate both of these teams, but I still think that the NBA wants Curry to finally win a finals MVP to get the last thing missing off of his accolades. Um, but we'll go ahead and see what happens. I'm still going to pick with Golden State in six. But we'll see how that goes. Mm-hmm. But we're know? into the final half, back half of the show. It's new music Monday. You know, trying to get every fresh, Monday. fresh. You know, every Monday. Look at the moon, man. Exactly. Look at the moon, man. Every Monday, we telling y'all the hottest stuff to listen to. So don't worry about it. Don't listen to that old stuff you're listening to. Put that 50 cent in the club down. We know Tupac the GOAT. Put, put down that 8 Mile soundtrack. Cause it's garbage. Please. Put throw it away Who's with your mom's so- spaghetti. Nobody wants your mom's spaghetti. Why are we talking about spaghetti? I still, I you still s- didn't get that memo. You said eight mile. Oh yeah, you just remind me of Cheddar Bob. But anyway, of new when we're talking about new music, you know what we're talking about. We got to go to our playlist. We're finally on TFTC mix music mix number three. You go to that playlist. You could hit the little plus thing, so that way it's always in your library. And you can go ahead and pull it up and play the most recent songs or shuffle the playlist. But we got 52 videos added to this playlist. So go ahead and jump over. We finally got a good amount of music on there for you. Hey, Zach, you know, get our views up. You know, also get these likes up. We got the best music. It's all fresh music, all new music. It's none of that slow stuff. It's none of that R&B, lovey-dovey stuff. This is that. And you know we're bringing the good tunes. Music Mix 1 and 2, both. Have over 1,200 views, so we need to get you over in Music Mix number three and get those numbers up. Exactly. You know what else we need y'all to do? We need y'all to also check out the other new music that dropped. You know, we got Post Malone dropped. We got Polo G dropped the song. We got Vory dropped the album. I got... still haven't listened to that Post Malone. I got to give it a listen. I know. We got to give it right. right uh, Roddy Rebel dropped the song. Little uh, R.P. Little Loaded. Oh, they're still releasing his music? Yeah, and then uh, Yo Gotti dropped the song with uh, his a couple of his artists, like um, what Mozzie and I think Money Bag Yo on there too. You know, it's a couple artists. Oh, Money Bag, Quilla Ray dropped something. Mm. Benny the Butcher, Quilla Ray, Big Moochie Grape. You know, maybe, a lot maybe of stuff. one day if we'll get big enough, we'll be able to get your dream girl Quilla Ray on the show. You and Lil Koi Koi. I need Car- I need Cardi B's sister on the show, Little Hennessy. Oh, I already called Dibs. A little Hennessy? I'll box you for. That's crazy. Even though that uh, she doesn't, she doesn't like us. Supposedly, she bats for the other team. If you know what I'm saying. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. But check out new music. We're gonna go ahead and jump into our personal picks. You know me of the week. My co-host is going first. So what is your pick, co-host? You know me, man. I pick Big Moochie Grape. You know, uh, Paper Route Empires artist signing you know r.i.p young Dolph, big mushy gate coming out with bangers you know he's cool he all right you should give him a try 
It's a, I, I heard this album was uh, trending because people were really surprised with how good it was. Exactly. He's no, he's really good. He's really good. Uh, and then also he dropped a song. Supposedly he has one of the last visuals videos of Young Dolph in the video with him. So you know it's it's cool. You know you need to re- put some respect on his name. Get Paper Right Empire back up on the map. You know R. I. P. Dolph. That's who I picked yeah, this week. You know I'm happy that this is going big. Paper Route needs uh, another artist to step up, and it uh, looks like Big Moochie is ready to fill those shoes. Exactly. And then it looks like what would you pick? Your your pick came better than mine. Oh. It's the Godfather. Now, how do you say his name? CEO do a trolley, trolley. CEO T. <laughs> CEO Tra- I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I think uh, Trailey sounds cooler than Trey L or however else other people were saying it. But you can check out his album. He uh, released some new songs. Uh, it's pretty fire. He's been real consistent, and we always have his newest music videos on our latest playlist. So. We've been big fans. We support this man, and I uh, hope he does uh, good numbers. Exactly. You know, I got I to gotta check this out. I still haven't listened to it yet. I'm going to pay it tomorrow. I'm going to pay it tonight. Who knows? Oh, I know you're going to pay that po- uh, Post Malone. Oh, yeah. I already, no, I already paid the Post Malone. It's already fired. I worked. I went to the gym working out with it. It was amazing. I don't believe you. No, I'm kidding. We'll, we'll probably read yeah, He's going to have some music videos, so check out Crib Reactions. You know we're going to do some videos on the channel as new mu- music videos come out because that seems what y'all like the most is us reacting to new music videos. But it's time to wrap up the show so y'all know the drill. You need to like, comment, and subscribe. It's the best way to help and support this channel. Also, follow me on Twitter at Papa Oblock and follow my co host at Felix Supreme 305. Come on, man. Subscribe to our page. Get these likes up. You know, like I said all the time, show. Make me proud so I can make my mama proud. I forgot what I said last episode. You were goofy. <laughs> but I said some hilarious. <laughs> but daddy, Nick Cannon's hilarious. <laughs> you remember that on Dave Chappelle? He's, she retired. <laughs> um, but y'all know what to do. We need to subscribe to our channel. That's the th- main thing that helps us. Crib reaction is blowing up that you're, you know, really getting to that uh, channel. You're making it catch up to the main channel, so we're super proud of that. And Tales from the Crib 2.0 is the Instagram to catch all the updates and all the randomness uh, when we feel like putting it on Instagram. Of course, of course. And you already know what it is. This is your boy, Jesse J. Feel Supreme 305. I thought that's what you were doing. You look- no. <laughs> Pause. No. That's not what I'm doing. Next slide. This is the end of the show, but thank you for watching. We appreciate the support. This is your main host, Chico Grande, a.k.a. Papa Oblock. And you know the drill. We will see y'all next week. Um, do you have any final thoughts, co-hosts, as we end this episode and say goodbye to our viewers? We love boats and hoes. Hopefully, since that's the last second of the show, they do not hate us for that. But thank you for coming again, and we will see y'all next week. I want to sing at the Catalina Wine Mixer.